Hi, in this video you have Eureka Drake Canyon X4% 10 presented and I'm using a text from my side to show you some uh, pictures and numbers. If you follow this brand then you know that they have had Jade Canyon series on the market for a number of years. But they have launched this uh, series, new series which is uh, with the letter X in the name and it turns out actually that these stands are more similar to their previous series that was known uh, under the name Desert Canyon. Uh, so it's more similar to them uh, than to the previous Jade Canyon tents. And this is because of these uh, poles that you can see in the corners uh, on the roof. Uh, as you realize from this uh, top picture, this is introduced to create overhanging roof which is a really uh, cool feature because the uh, windows that you have on all the sides are partly protected. But they, they have also added one extra pole above the door. So when you, uh, that creates a, a small brim and you have a dry entry point. Now these windows look great, but there is one feature that I don't like and that was not there in the previous uh, tents. Uh, and this is that the panels inside are with uh, loops and toggles so you don't have zippers to close the windows and this can be a problem if you have uh, strong side winds combined with the rain. Uh, other features include uh, e-cable port and you have four such pockets uh, on the walls to store your gear and uh, the frame is quite good actually this is also one of the best part of, parts of this tent because you have a strong steel used for the, those uh, leg poles and aluminum used for the for the roof uh, this is not so frequent combination and this is actually reflected in, in the price of this tent uh, because it's uh, a bit high the fabric is i would say moderately moderately strong 68d for the body uh, of the tent and 75d for the fly and the same uh, the near value is used for the floor which is uh, maybe less good but the waterproof rating is good for the fly 2000 millimeters and for the uh, floor 3000 millimeters the area that you have here is quite small really you have only less than six square meters so for four people uh, it's not much. You can put indeed four sleeping pads on the floor, but uh, it's not a uh, it's not a lot of space. And uh, the peak height uh, is really impressive. You have uh, 84 inches, and uh, this is uh, 213 centimeters inside. So this is inner peak height. The tent is quite heavy and uh, bulky, but this is not a big deal because this is a car camping tent. Regarding pros and cons, so I mentioned there are no zippers on the windows and it's small for four people, this is uh, for the cons. And uh, for the pros, uh, this is a very uh, pleasant and uh, cool tent, it is tall with a great frame and a unique overhanging fly. So my overall rating is not so bad, uh, it's affected by the weight and the uh, pack size and uh, the, uh, the area per person. But uh, overall it's okay. So this is all I wanted to say here. There is a link below the video. You can follow and read more. Thank you for watching.